Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 14th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. I'm going to continue with the same deck I've used for the last two days. We'll see if we can get like a you know more of the story. So, what do we have for a message today? for around the 14th, but I really need to reiterate that the timing is fluid because a lot of people really don't get that, right? Um, yeah. What do we have for a message today? Hierophant. Hierophant is a card of faith. It's a card of faith and trust. Believe. Believe in yourself. This is a card of, this is a direct connection to God. We could be dealing, this is, represents Taurus, but it could represent anybody else as well. This is a divine connection. This is a higher power. This is the highest authority. Um, That's the highest authority. That is a direct connection to God. There's a higher power involved here. That's a card of faith and believing. Something to do with a commitment. Three of Swords on the bottom. Three of Swords in reverse. So that is about a that is about a recovery. It is about a recovery. It's time to heal. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. On the path to recovery, God is in charge. There's a higher power in charge here. Healing is needed. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. They came out together. So the Seven of Swords is... Looks like we have somebody here that is... Uh, well, they're going somewhere. They're going somewhere. They're, they're leaving something behind. They have a new opportunity. It's almost like they're sneaking away. They're slipping away. They're, they're some sort of making an escape. I feel like we have somebody here that is, because the, the, the hero font is guidance, right? It's like a guidance, a divine guidance. It could be a counselor. It could be somebody that is very spiritual. It could be a, a, guru, a guru, which I don't ever say correctly. This is somebody that is being guided, maybe even from their gut. They could be guided from their gut, or they're guided from God, or something like that. Their higher power. They're being guided to... You know, the Page of Pentacles is about a new path. It's a new door. They're being guided to go to a new doorway. This is to start from scratch. It's not going to be easy. Just take, just take what you can and go. That's what I see with this Seven of Swords. This person doesn't look like they're happy. There's somebody here that isn't happy in this Seven of Swords. They've been... It's almost like they've been belittled, they've been stepped on, they've been betrayed, you know, and they've been in some sort of denial and they got this golden opportunity to go through this no, new doorway and I feel like they are, I feel like they're, you know, they're just leaving. Somebody is, I feel like somebody is being guided to leave, you don't need to take it with you, just go. That's what I see with this Seven of Swords. It's like, just leave it behind. Just leave the rest behind. Just take what you, just go. There's a new opportunity here that it's not going to be easy, but this is where somebody finds their, their moral backbone to go through that new doorway. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is going through a new doorway. It's almost like they're gathering their belongings. It's like I gotta. Go. It's time to go. They have to leave some things behind though, because they can't take it all. They can't take it all. You just can't take it all with you because there's just not enough. You know, it's almost like they're being forced to go or something like that. Um, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the Page of Pentacles, which is holding the Ace of Pentacles, which is a huge. This Ace of Pentacles happens to be huge. You know, that is a huge opportunity right there. So we do have somebody that does have a big opportunity, but it's not going to be easy. This is starting over, okay? This is this is a, 
a new prospect, a new avenue, a new doorway. Uh, it is, but it's gonna. It's not gonna be easy. This is a fresh start, absolutely. This is this is taking a risk. This is replacing fear with faith. So we and there is faith that is needed. They're being guided. Somebody is is being guided. This is freedom. Okay, this is stepping into new territory. I feel like we have somebody here that is leaving it all behind once again. I knew that's what I saw. They're, they they're ready. They're ready to start over. We definitely have a fresh start here. This is a new journey. It's a new life. This is somebody that is replacing their fear with faith. And they are, I feel like they have been reluctant to do so. They've been torn. They've been torn. They've been struggling with the two of swords on the bottom. This is somebody that um, has had to make a painful, stressful decision. They've been in denial. I knew they had been too. They've been in denial, but their gut and has been poking them, you know. Um, it's time to go down that new path. It's not going to be easy, but this is taking charge. We have somebody here that is, is leaving. They're, gonna, they're doing it. Okay, they're taking a leap of faith. This is somebody that is, is taking a leap of faith, and they're starting a new journey. And it's exciting. It is exciting. This is free. It's free. I'm free. It's freedom. Freedom from some sort of commitment that they have been committed to. They were guided to go. They were. They were guided. They were divinely guided, right, to go in this new direction and to leave it behind. Just leave it behind. There's a golden opportunity in your hands for something stable, solid, secure, real, but, but this person has been really, really torn. They've been torn between two different options and choosing to live in denial, choosing not to listen to their gut, choosing to let themselves be walked on and stepped on and controlled because of that Five of Swords, which is in the Seven of Swords. But now they're they're taking a risk. This is this is risky. This is like I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So we have somebody here that is about to. It's almost like it's spur of the moment as well. Ten of Swords reverse. This is the end of suffering. It is. Somebody has been suffering. This is liberation, freedom, right next to the fool. Those are both freedom cards, okay? It goes like this. Freedom from suffering, freedom from pain. That is liberation. It really is. I feel like things have gotten worse in a situation, and the only option is to leave it behind, leave the pain behind. This is the end of suffering. We have somebody here that is breaking free from a situation where they have been, uh, it's almost like beat down by another person. There's been a lot of suffering. This is making an escape or getting away from it, Walk, getting away. It's it is. It's getting away. It's it's leaving it. You know, keep it. I don't want it. You can have it. I don't want to deal with this anymore. It hurts too much. This is extremely painful. This is the end of suffering. Something. This is something that has happened. I don't know if somebody has cheated on a commitment or something like that. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. It really is. Some, somebody is receiving some sort of guidance. There's a higher power involved. There's been some sort of deception. It's time to break free from this suffering. Somebody is, is leaving the pain behind. They are. They are. It's like a, they're, it's a, it's they're free. This is total liberation. It is total freedom. Going through a new doorway. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles this is about give and take. It's about reciprocation. It's about receiving. Uh, somebody's only been receiving crumbs 
from somebody. There's, there's money issues here. There's been a lack of equality. Somebody may be leaving something behind where uh, that has cost them. It has cost them a lot of money. Now we get the Nine of Swords on the bottom in reverse. That is giving deep thought to a relationship. There's been a lot of stress. There's been a lot of uh, sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of fear. Somebody's been held back by fear, but they are definitely now replacing their fear with faith because that, that the, the, I was going to say the Taurus card, the Hierophant is faith, and the Moon card is faith. Not the Moon. Why am I saying Moon? Everything that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Moon is fear, okay? Moon is fear, and but the Fool card is faith. So we, I don't know if we're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. We could also be dealing with an Aries and a Taurus. Um, stepping into new territory, leaving it all behind. This is a golden opportunity to start fresh and get what I deserve. I want reciprocation. I want something real. I want something solid. I don't want to live in this pain anymore. I don't want to be in this painful situation where I'm always down. I don't want to be put down. And somebody's been put down. They they have been, and they've been suffering. They've been they've been deceived. And they may, there could even be some self deception here, because we had the two of swords and we have the seven of swords. There's self deception. Somebody has been choosing the two of swords. They had a blindfold on, so somebody's been choosing not to accept, choosing not to see the truth. You know, held back by fear, blocking their emotions, torn in two different directions. But their higher power is guiding them to step forward in faith, step into this new horizon. The Page of Pentacles and the, the Fool are both new horizons. It's time. It's time to go down that path and start over from scratch. So somebody is going to be starting a new journey from scratch after they have suffered big time with that Ten of Swords. They have. They have allowed them. They've stayed down. They have allowed themselves to stay down. They could have. They could have escaped at any time, but they chose not to because they were too scared. That's why the fear was there. You know, the moon is lies. It is deception. It is fear. It is confusion. It is illusion. And it is fantasy. And everything comes out for a reason. So I believe that there has been some sort of illusion. There's been some sort of fantasy. Something has been hidden. All is not as it seems. But I feel like there's guidance here that is revealing something to a person that has been in, in denial through their gut okay it's like getting that guidance that they need you know that it's time to go down through that new doorway um, to get what they deserve somebody is gonna it has received an offer or they're going to be receiving an offer okay they're going to be receiving a golden opportunity that is heaven sent okay if they haven't received it already they're about to we have the Hierophant the page of Pentacles and the six of Pentacles that is a, a higher power okay it's God it's a it is it is a godly energy that is giving somebody a golden opportunity to get what they deserve okay and that is equality and reciprocation you know it's a payout it's a reward it's to get what you deserve but it will require you with the fool right next to that six of pentacles to leave the rest behind you're going to have to leave some things behind okay because that's not helping you with healing and that's why we saw the three of swords reverse so this is this is on the path to recovery leaving the past hurts behind and and healing um stepping into new territory there could be some travel or you know with a fool that's traveling to a new destination this is an exciting new opportunity tower now, this is very, very, very sudden. This is a dismantling of a false sense of security. This is a shock. There could definitely be a fight. We have the five of wands on the bottom. There could be a fight that causes a major disruption and things explode. This is an explosion. This is a shock. This is a surprise. It's very sudden. This is a forced uh departure right it is it's a forced change this is the universe okay which is forcing you know something that is built on false pretenses on a false foundation to crumble so something is about to crumble really fast extremely fast there's going to be some sort of fight 
Okay, this is a fight. This is a fight. It's going to be extreme. Uh, somebody's about to blow. Okay, this is a blow up or a fight or a major disruption. Somebody could end up getting thrown out. It's actually a blessing in disguise because there's a need to start with a clean slate. When this foundation crumbles or things blow up or things come crashing down, there is no choice but to start over from scratch. Somebody is going to be starting over from scratch. There's going to be a major disruption that comes out of nowhere that sends somebody packing by the looks of things. Um, this is a fight of some sort, it is. There's some sort of falseness that is coming to light. There is freedom. There is freedom from something that isn't stable. It's not solid. It's not built on a solid foundation. There's going to be a major disruption either on the home front or... Yeah, I think it's on the home front. If it's not the home front, it's it's internal. This is a big, huge, it could be an internal disruption. Somebody may be suffering internally because they're in a false sense of security. The tower is a false sense of security, right? It is. You know, people, you know, you can't avoid it. You can't avoid this change. This is forced change. There's a higher power involved. There absolutely is. First card out is the Hierophant. So that is a godly energy that is uh, giving somebody a huge golden opportunity right now to get what they deserve, but it's going to be uh, disruptive, okay? There's going to be disruption, so be prepared. Get prepared. I think that, that you know somebody's going to be leaving, and they're not going to be leaving with everything, okay? They're going to be leaving with something, but not everything, because it's almost like they're forced to leave. They're forced to go. This is actually a blessing because there's been too much pain here. There's been too much suffering here. It's not solid. You deserve reciprocation. You deserve equality. You deserve something real. You deserve something of value. Somebody is going to be getting an offer that is very valuable, that is very real if they haven't gotten it already. Somebody may be even getting an apology from somebody that deceived them. Somebody is going to be starting over. We have starting over from scratch like three times. Building a new foundation elsewhere. Because you can't, you can't this, this ground isn't fertile. It, this is not a good place. It's time to go. You, this is rebuilding a foundation someplace else. Somebody is going to be rebuilding a foundation someplace else. freedom from a false sense of security those two freedom cards the ten of swords reverse and the fool reverse those are freedom next to the tower freedom from a false sense of security freedom from a foundation that wasn't built on stable ground from the very beginning it wasn't built uh in a good place you know it wasn't built uh, for the right reasons it's there's a lot going on behind those walls that are not healthy put it that way this is a surprise. This is a sudden. It's very sudden. With the fool and the tower both next to each they're touching each other. That's sudden, extremely impulsive. Uh, something spur of the moment, spur of the moment. Very sudden change. It can be a sudden change. Oh, now we got five of wands reversed. This conflict is coming to an end. It is. This is some sort of battle that has been going on for a long time. There's probably a lot of people involved, maybe even some family members. This battle is coming to an end. Chariot! Chariot is moving. Packing up and moving. Somebody is moving. Absolutely. 
They're moving. They're moving away from a very stressful situation. This is somebody that has found their willpower and their determination and their strength to just go, taking charge. We have somebody here that has taken the high road. They're getting in their vehicle. And I feel like they're, it's, it's like they're forced to leave. Now it's next to the tower. We have the fool, the tower, and the chariot. That is taking a risk, spur of the moment, leaving it all behind, forced the chariot to go, okay? To go, to move, forced to move. Somebody is being forced to move. And if you notice on this tower card, I feel like we got somebody here that's getting thrown out. Okay, it's almost like they're getting thrown out. And I feel like it's because of a fight, an extremely huge fight or battle or something like that. Um, this has been an extremely painful situation anyway. There's been a lot of deception. The higher power has seen it all, has seen all this deception, has seen all the pain, has seen all the lies. There's been a lot of lies. There's been a lot of falseness. Mm-hmm. There's, there's somebody that is about to get exactly what they deserve. They're going to be going down a new path. This path leads to uh, something real and solid and stable, but it doesn't. It's a blessing, but it doesn't lead. It doesn't happen until after the explosion. Whatever the somebody is about to explode. Okay, in some way, there's going to be some sort of explosion. Um, Leaving the past behind. Leaving it all behind. Somebody is leaving some stuff behind. They can't take it with them. They can't fit it. It's like they can't fit it all in the vehicle. They can't fit it all in the car. Something like that. It's, you know, leaving the house, getting in their car, getting in their vehicle. This could have to do with the internal vehicle or your body as well. Because a tower can be a body. It's in the, then we have a vehicle. A body is a vehicle as well. A body, your body is a vehicle for your soul. But anyway, we're not going to get into that right now. But anyhow, somebody is uh, going to be rebuilding a foundation someplace else. Packing up, leaving the falseness behind. Starting over from scratch. Not taking everything with them because they can't fit it. Going after something more valuable their value is going to increase because they don't have that weighing them down anymore this is the end of a conflict with a lot of people where there's been a lot of lies and there's been a lot of falseness The lovers, unexpected choice in love. So there's another soulmate here. This is, this is a soulmate connection. This is kindred spirits. This is unexpected. You hear the word unexpected and the tower is unexpected as well. So we have an unexpected choice in love. There's another option. And there we saw that with the two of swords and we have the page of cups on the bottom as well. So there's love here. This is this is this is like this is Cupid and this is an angel bringing this is Cupid. This is angel. So we have we have like a higher power that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. Right now we have an individual or both of them. I think it's just one though that is in a false sense of security. There's about to be a major massive change with the tower card. Uh, that brings these two people together. These two people are meant to be together. This person is not your usual type, but it's a perfect match. Um, this is the end of a conflict with a false sense of security. This is moving forward towards uh, victory and success with a partner that is uh, connected, uh, a deep spiritual connection, because there is a deep spiritual connection here. We have two people that are coming together after there has been some sort of conflict, there has been some sort of um, denial, I believe it's denial. Um, I think that somebody was holding on to a commitment because of money, again we talk about this a lot, 
they were deceiving themselves they were staying in the situation because it was you know they were receiving some sort of financial payout but they're being guided to leave that financial situation behind and to go after love because of lovers is love okay and i see the financial this is the seven of swords next to the page of uh, pentacles and then, the, and then the commitment card somebody was deceiving themselves holding on to a commitment because of the money that they could get from it but I feel like the lesson has been learned that journey is over that chapter is over it's all false okay it's not it's all false it's all false that's all superficial right so anyway this is the end it is it is the end it's breaking free it's breaking free from that false sense of security and uh, dropping out of this battle dropping out of this fight you know it's it's uh, moving forward towards a soulmate or a lover that is more compatible so i do believe that we have two people that are going to be coming together that are very compatible there's going to be a message of love there could be flirting there could be there could be some sort of um message that is coming it is good news it is love it's about love you know um there could even be an apology here. Somebody could be apologizing for yeah, something. I don't know what. Um, not cooperating or or something like that. Anyhow, the lovers is an unexpected choice in love. There's this is a deep connection. These two people. are being brought together from above. There's a higher power that has brought these two people together. They are meant to be together. There's going to be a move. That chariot is a move. Leaving leaving the uh, false sense of security behind, leaving the false foundation. We have somebody here that is finding their mental strength to take charge and go somewhere. They're following their heart. Somebody is following their heart. They're being guided to. There's a higher power involved. So anyway... deepening a bond somebody is going to be deepening a bond a decision is being made being seeing clearly what the decision is so this is the, the decision being made to follow the heart and go in a new direction new direction is definitely here with the with the fool in the, in the chariot and the tower and the page of pen, pentacles divine guidance we have somebody that you know that the, the Herobot is a direct connection to god their gut has been telling them and they're going to start, they're going to listen because something's going to happen on the phone, home front that forces them, them to go towards this connection. So yeah, there could be a reunion between lovers here that are meant to be together, okay? This is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a battle. It's the end of a false sense of security. It's the end of a false sense of security. In the beginning, of a new journey with the Fool card. This is exciting. Good luck.